credit cards um, and one personal loan. You're gonna get your money in a couple of days. We are addicted to debt. I am more than $18,000 in debt. Up to about $10,000 in debt. Debt, it's a dirty word, but with more than $50 billion owing on credit cards, it's an issue Australians can't afford to ignore. Financial stress is making us sick. So tonight, we'll reveal how you can turn things around. It's time for what the doctor ordered. The first thing we'll do is chop off that credit card debt now. Financial advisors Scott Haywood and finance journalist Sophie Ellsworth are opening the door to Aussies in need. How do you feel about getting a financial spring clean? I'm looking forward to it. I made a couple of silly short side decisions in the past, but I think it's time to take control and this could change my life. Adam Aston's in $10,000 worth of debt from living beyond his means. My goal is definitely to get rid of that. We're paying over $2,000 a year in dead money. If you have a lot of credit card debt, they suggest switching to a lower interest solution, like a personal loan. If you do get a balance transfer at a low interest rate, you cannot use that card because every transaction you have on that card will be immediately charged at up to 21%. Next up is 24-year-old TV producer Aliana Victoria, who owes $18,000 to the banks. Yeah, I'm just drowning in debt. I, I never thought that I'd have so much debt. I had um, some medical issues that I needed to pay off because um, it wasn't covered by my health insurance. Um, and I think I spent more than uh, close to 10 grand on, on my medical bills. She's not paying off her credit cards despite having money in the bank. I feel very anxious about not having anything in my savings. Well, credit card debt is the worst debt because it's at the highest interest rate. So that's at 21, 25%, whereas your savings is only earning you maybe 1 or 2% at best, unless it's in a term deposit. Would you recommend me paying off the ones with the highest interest first or...? As a rule of thumb, you eliminate the highest interest rate cards first. Ellie, your personal loan is attracting a rate of 16%. There are plenty of personal loans out there under 10%. And you could have all of your debt paid off in the next 18 months. Wow, I, I thought I'd be paying it off for the next like 10 years or something. I think it's incredibly easy to accidentally find yourself on the debt treadmill and that's because credit card providers only ask for a minimum repayment of around 2 or 3%. They never actually ask you to pay down your debt in full. But Rate City's Sally Tyndall says new regulations which came in this year put a handbrake on our hunger for credit. Credit card providers now have to assess a person's ability to repay down their whole credit card limit within three years. Lenders also have to provide options to cancel your card online and can't apply interest charges retrospectively. So when you um, didn't pay your bill in full one month, uh, providers could uh, take away your interest-free days retrospectively and charge you interest from day one. That practice has now has to stop. The approval process will be exhausting this year. And that's for loans as well. 